So for this video, I'm going to show you how to take tracks from Google Drive and upload them into QLab to make a QLab file. So here I've got the folder in Google Drive. I already have it open. And I'm going to click on the name of the um, folder and say download. And then it's going to prepare the download, as you can see right here. After it finishes processing, it comes up with this uh, save as location dialog box. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop, like so. And then it's going to start downloading. Once it finishes downloading, I'm going to go launch QLab, open a new finder window on the desktop, and then I'm going to find where it downloaded it. And it's going to download it as a um, zip archive, so you want to double click that file to open it and it'll put everything into a folder for you. And then you select the folder, select a song, and then do command A to select everything. And then literally you take them from the finder window and you drag them into QLab. And then everything should be in QLab in order, like so. If you need to change the order of any tracks, you can just click it and then literally click and drag and the blue bar will show where it's going to uh, place it, like so. Go ahead and click on the track you want to edit. Make sure you're in edit mode down below. And then go ahead and click on trim. And if you want to change the volume, you can either slide it up or down. Zero is the um, volume that it's at already, but a plus number means it's going to be louder, and then a minus, a negative number means it's going to be softer. Fade to a cue, go ahead and click this um, sort of sliders button right here and drag it to the um, track that you want to fade, and it'll insert it right where that blue line is, and then go ahead and it doesn't have anything to do right now. So tell it which cue you want by dragging the cue in question over top until it's highlighted. And then the instructions are to fade it. Um, go ahead, and if you want to fade it all the way out, go to levels and make sure everything is clicked at negative infinity. You can just click the text box like so. And then under audio effects, hit stop target when done if you want to stop the target or if you just want to make it quieter don't hit stop target depending on how fast you want the fade to be you can change it under curve shape clicking the um, fade cue and you can make it any time you want change when a cue starts so you want to edit the start time of a track say you have a whole bunch of silence in before the track actually starts playing music go ahead and click the track you want and then go to time and loops and then you see this little diagram of the sound uh, the more movement there is from center the more volume there is in the track and if you want to get rid of that little um, quiet time in front go ahead and click on the mini triangle up top here and drag that to whatever you want the start time to be if you have a specific start time in mind you can change that here like so When you're done making edits to the QLab, hit Command S to save it. And if you haven't named it already, you'll, it'll ask for a name. So you can name it whatever you want. And you can choose where you want to save it. So you could save it to the desktop, um, which I recommend because it's easiest to access. And then hit Save. And it'll save it. And every time you make a change, you want to save it. If you're running a show, Go ahead and click show and use the space bar to go through the cues and hit escape to panic which will stop a cue automatically. If you want to skip to in the middle of a cue, go ahead and click this cue lists and active cues button in the bottom corner and click on the active cues tab. And if you're playing a cue, you can scroll in the middle by dragging along this bar and it'll tell you how much time has elapsed. 
and you can also hit the X or the pause for a specific cue as well.